after the approval of the research advisory committee, the following procedures will be followed. First, set up all the materials needed for the experiment. The following materials will be set. 30 sets of clean 4x4 four four cloth, 30 sets of container with water, a dropper, a glass with soy sauce, and a glass with wine, and especially the Averroa Binimbi. test uh, the litmus paper did not change in color so meaning the the stain is acidic so next we'll test whether the soy sauce stain is oily or not oily so as you can see the result for the oil absorbing paper for soy sauce stain it's not oily because the oil absorbing paper did not absorb the soy sauce. After the cloth is being stained with soy sauce first and the length and width is already recorded, proceed to the rubbing of kamias into the stains of cloth vertically 10 times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then after the cloth is being stained, the cloth will be soaked in a prepared water container for five minutes. And repeat all the procedures in all the experimental sets. The next will proceed to the wine stain. the cloth will be taken out from the containers supposedly the after length and width will be measured in our data but as you can see all our cloths are very clean and the stains are taken out by the kamias so therefore the researcher can conclude that kamias is an effective uh, stain remover for soy sauce. Moving on to the wine stain. So same thing as the soy sauce, we'll have 15 cloths and it will be stained using the dropper. After the cloths being stained by the wine, will record the length and width of the wine stain. After the researcher measures the length and width before stain, we'll move to the litmus test paper to test whether the stain is a base 
or acidic. So we are using the red litmus paper. As you can see, all the results do not change in color. So meaning the wine stain before of the litmus test is acidic. So after the litmus test of the before stain for soy sauce and wine, let's move on to the oil absorbing paper to test whether it is oily or not oily. So as you can see, all the results for the oil absorbing paper is not oily because the wine did not absorb the oil absorbing paper. recorded next we will move on to the rubbing of kamias on each cloth so it will be rubbed 10 times vertically and after rubbing the cloth 10 times using the kamias soak this in a clean water for five minutes And then repeat all the procedures for the remaining sets. We'll take out all the clots from the container. from the containers supposedly the researcher should measure the after length and width of this of the wine stain but as you can see how kamias is effective in in taking out the stains from the clots but but there are as you can see there are remains or small pieces but all the stains were clearly taken out by the kamias. So next, we will move on to the litmus paper after the kamias being rubbed and the white cloth being soaked in the water container. So this side will be the cloths with wine stain before and on the right side is the soy sauce stain before. So first, we'll have this for the litmus paper test for the 15 plots. You're all set for the wine stain plots. So as you can see, the result of the litmus paper test did not change in color we're using the red litmus paper so meaning it did not change color so it is acidic so moving on to the next side we'll have the soy sauce stain cloths so let's do the litmus paper test to test whether the substance is acidic or base so we're all done for the litmus paper test for the wine stain 
and soy sauce stain. So, as you can see, all the litmus paper did not change in color. So, meaning the substance is acidic. So, next we'll move on to the wine and soy sauce stain using the oil absorbing paper test. So, this side are the wine stain clots for and this side are the soy sauce stains for so let's start up with the wine stain clots let's test if it is oily or not oily So we're all set for the wine stain blocks and as you can see all the result proves that the wine stain blocks are not oily after the said experiment. So moving on, we will test the soy sauce stain blocks whether if it is oily or not oily. So to conclude, you can see that in the oil absorbing paper test, the wine stain blots and the soy sauce stain blots are not oily. Based on the result of the experiment, the researcher concluded that Kamias is an effective stain remover for soy sauce and wine stain. Again. This is Dane Mihirada Fernandez from Cebu International Distance Education College. Thank you for watching my video.